guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have our Lao Ladies Lady of Mysterious Elements by T. L. E. Huchu. Huchu. Um, so this book was definitely something that I probably would not read again. Um, as I really thought it was going to be an interesting book, but I kind of lost interest halfway through the book. I did finish it, but it wasn't really something that I would continue reading. I did um, enjoy Light of the Dead by the same author, but this book wasn't really up there as that first one. That one was like mysterious and everything. This one is like um, someone who could, Ripper, who can basically see the dead and find some, something like that. And it's really confused. So it says, magic, Can magic heal their medallions? So here, here, some secrets are meant to stay buried. When Ropa Moyo discovers an occult underground library, she expects great things. She really, she's really into Edible Secret Society, but Suit turns out that they are less into her. So instead of getting paid to work magic, she has to accept a, 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 a skept, accept a crummy unpaid inter, internship with bills to pay and pet fox to feed. When her friend Pura offers her a job on the side, Pura works at, at our, our Ladies of Mysterious Elements, a very specialised ho uh, hospital, where new illness is resisting magical and magical remedies alike. The first pa patient was a teenage boy and his healers are baffled. But if Ropa can solve the case, she might earn as she learns and impress her mentor, Sir Calliada. Her sleuthing will lead her to the lost fortune and avenging spirit as he got buried deep in Scotland's past. Yet how are they connected? Lives are at stake. And Robert is running out of time. So the book was like this is what sort of got to me, but for some reason it wasn't it wasn't really like heading my way. And I was like, um, I'm not sure how this is gonna go. Um I thought this was more of a going through like a TV show almost. That's how I felt. I'm not sh exactly sure why, but there was a lot of question marks on what's going on, and I don't like that in a mystery book. Um, when you're going through it, I like to have the, that certain question and then answer at the end, or something like that, or a little cliffhanger. Um, but this is set in dystopian Scotland, um, but a secretive um, and her elite has her under her wing. She's even been given an internship with an occult group and is really annoyed that her internship doesn't pay and even the sorcerers have to deal with office politics. But compared to the first book, the smirk of Roper has been dialed up. So basically, the Mima smirks and gives me the finger, ass wipe, we shit all, like the whole Scottish thing. So I'm like, oh, okay, these are like Scottish settings and everything like that. I was like, yeah, this doesn't sound too bad. Um, but as we got through it more, I'm going, I don't know if I actually like the book. I wanted to find something that's going to be, oh, here, have this. This is a mystery about ghosts, a mysterious illness, and this person's going to find out how to do it. But as I was reading it, it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't that really interesting. Um, so, I don't know what else to really say about this, to be honest. Um, so, I expect much of the story to take place in the focus of the ma uh, magical opponent's hospital. Imagine my surprise when I said, actually, I found myself learning more about the Library of the Dead. It's actually, it why exactly has the name that it does. So, with the end of the night series, I couldn't help but feel a little bit more down. It was more focused on the magical hospital with the eye-catching name. So, that was a little bit disappointing. And I was, because obviously you were thinking, oh, Lady of Mysterious Element, that sounded really cool. And then it was just more about the hospital, magical hospital, they're trying to find an illness. So, Roper did finish, visit, the, visit the hospital once or twice, and it's not a whole sort of um, suspense involved the world build, building between her. But it's kind of seemed like it was a little more important from the name, though. So, I am kind of disappointed in that. So, with this um why Roper somehow tracks red crimes surrounding the strange tradition that befells these high school students, I found myself completely lost. I had no idea what was going on. I had no idea where the story was, where was it going, I was completely lost. So somehow there's a secret society, a lost fortune, an astral uh, traveller, a demonology and magic that involved in all of this, but I had absolutely no earthly idea how it was connected, and for a while Roper seems confused by the connection herself. But then magical, uh, magically figures out how it intertwines, but I couldn't see their interrelations, even if I had a magnifying glass and a deer stalker hat. 
my inability to come even remotely close to a guess what the heck was going to involve in, in the main story of the story made it really disheartening for me. So that's why I couldn't really get into more of the book. It just down down the side to go. So I hope there's I do love the author because the first book. So hopefully when they do do of any other books, I'm hoping that they will come up with something a little bit more entertaining. So I will not be keeping this book. I am going to unhaul it. But that is fine. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Bye.